Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm going to tell you all about the 2017 Road Trek 210 Popular. This one is on the Chevy 4500 chassis with the 6 liter Vortec V8 engine. Uh, so nice and powerful, you can tow a little over 7,500 pounds with this guy. Let's go ahead and take a look here. We'll make our way on back. Uh, starting right down at the rims, you can see they have the aluminum alloy rims on there. Great look, you know, it's something you want on your vehicles. It's going down the road. Look sharp, why not have it on your road trek as well? Right up top is your power awning. Just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to go back in. It does have arms that come out and down. They will attach right here as well as attach here in the back. To get into the 210, you have driver and passenger's door, and then your main entryway will be right here. Now, the big difference between the 210 and most of the other road treks out there, this is one of the only ones where they uh, go ahead and manufacture a part of the body instead of using the chassis from the manufacturer itself. From here back, this is essentially as fiberglass. They went ahead and redid this, gave you a little bit more width in that Chevy chassis. It's also nice and long. It's a little uh, over 21 feet, so it is a longer chassis. So if you're looking for the Chevy, uh, you want some of those modifications, this is definitely a great one to go with. Additional storage on the outside here as well. Uh, just go ahead and open this guy up. You can take a look. So this is cool. It's on the uh, door side, your camp side. You have nice, easy access to anything that you want to put in there. Then as you come around to the back, a couple quick things back here. Right up top, you will see your antenna. In front of that is your solar panel. Beneath it is your AC. Of course, both of these back doors do open. Right here is your Continental Spare Tire Kit. This is great, you know, it's nice and stylish, has a good look to it, and it'll make sure that your spare tire stays protected. If you do want to open the door, all you have to do is pull this pin out and drop it down. You can open that one up. So we do open it up. You can go ahead and see the extra storage underneath. These panels, of course, normally uh, close it off, but I went ahead and took those out so you can see the spare storage there, your tire kit there as well, uh, but good storage underneath that rear sofa. Backup camera is located right here. Underneath is your propane, nice and easy to access. Just take that cover off and then the hitch right here. And as I mentioned, you can tow 7,500 pounds there. Come around to the off door side or the non-camp side, driver's side, whatever you want to call it. We'll go ahead and open this guy up. Turn that just like so. Uh, you can see right over here, you have your outside shower there. Uh, hook up right here as well there for your power. And then as we move up front a little ways, take a look at this. This is what makes the 210 the 210. Some of the coolest storage right here. This guy pulls right out. You can undo these lift this up and take a look at that. Uh, this can hold 150 pounds, that's some serious weight. So if you wanna make it a cooler, put some ice in there, you can do that. If you're a big golfer, this is a perfect spot for your golf bag. You can go ahead and put it right in here. On the other side, if you take a look over on this side, you have your gray and black tank valves right here. And then your macerator, your one inch macerator is tucked in this compartment. You can kind of see the hose there. Uh, so that's tucked away nice and safely there. Still easy to get to. And as always, the control for your macerator is right here. Just go ahead and hit that and that will uh, churn everything up and push it out. But all right, folks, that wraps it up for the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Road Trek 210 Popular. Right back here is your main seating area. You can see this is actually a power sofa. Cool thing about the power sofa, your controls right here. The uh, thing I like about it though is you can go ahead and stop this at any point. So if you want a more comfortable angle to sit back and relax a little bit more, you can certainly do that. Kick your feet up here on the side cushions or whatever you want to do. Uh, but this does drop down into your bed. You can flatten this all the way out. You see you have a piece of wood right here. This connects the center. You fill that in with your cushions and that creates your king bed, which is your main sleeping area. Now, if you wanna sit back here and relax, you do have a table that can go right in here. Uh, and again, that way you can sit back here, have a meal, open the doors up if you want, have a nice breeze coming through. Also back here, right up top, you have a couple speakers. Uh, those, uh, you have two over here actually, another one over here. Those are controlled right up here. I'll show you that in a little bit. They're all attached to your home theater system. Uh, windows all around as well, so it is nice and bright back here during the day. Plenty of LED lights back here too to make it nice and bright at night. 
Right over here on a swing arm mount is a 24 inch LG TV. Uh, this is 12 volt, so it will run off the battery power if you so desire. There's seat belts back here as well, so you can have two additional passengers riding. You'll see cup holders back here on either side there as well. Uh, electrical outlets, you have two right over here. You can see you have one here and then another one right over there. So if you need to plug in cell phones or anything, you can go ahead and do so. Now there is a little step. Uh, I'm about six foot. I do have to duck a little bit here in the back, not quite as much in the main walkway. Uh, you will notice right here, this is your, uh, your home theater system, it's LG. This is a, a Blu-ray player, uh, it is also a smart uh, DVD player. So if you want to access the internet, different apps, as long as you have the internet access, you can go ahead and use that. And that is obviously connected to your TV. If we take a look right up top here, you will notice, as I mentioned, there's your 12 volt plug in for your TV there. Right here is your speaker selector. If you want to go ahead and use these speakers or uh, the automotive speakers, that is what we decided that right over there. AC unit, of course, here in the back. Then if we take a look at some of the storage, we'll open this up. You see you have great storage in here. This is the, uh, the leg for the table that goes right in the back here. And you can see you have another little shelf area right up top. The other side, we'll go ahead and open this up so you can take a look. Nice big storage in there. Self-supporting hinges as well. Same thing right over here again. Another uh, additional storage area. Lights up top, you can see the LED lights there. Then as I move forward again, steps down just a little bit, gives me that extra room I need so I don't have to duck at all. Uh, you do have some additional storage right here above your convection microwave. The convection oven, as I mentioned, I definitely like having a convection oven, especially in a smaller motor home like a Class B, because it's a big space savings and will allow for additional storage underneath the cooktop. Nor cold fridge freezer combo. Go ahead and take a look there. Plenty of space, everything you need. Uh, and let's go ahead and finish out the kitchen real quick. So you, you know, you'll notice it, it's not a huge countertop, but it's all you need. They did give you cook, uh, cook covers here or covers for your sink and your cooktop kind of going with that European theme. And you do have additional prep space right over here, but beautiful solid surface countertops. Go ahead and lift that up. You can see that's your sink faucet right there. Then next to that is the two burner cooktop. Window here as well, it's led in light during the day and then an LED light there up top. You can see, uh, oh also uh, right over here, you have a spice holder. Then you also have an electrical outlet there. So if you do need to plug anything in like coffee maker blender, you can go ahead and do that and additional storage right up top here. So if we take a look underneath, there's some additional storage here as well. So you have good storage there. You can see the water heater down below. Uh, this is kind of neat. That way you can hang your towel right here, but you can go ahead and open that up and you will see additional space there. You have a drawer right up top here. Good storage there, decent sized drawer. Uh, this pulls out. So this is a huge pull out table here. This is so everyone up front, if you want a table, both your driver and passenger seat swivel. Uh, so all three of these can kind of utilize this table here. If you want to play a game of cards, have a meal, uh, something to that nature. And then underneath that, you have three great size drawers. These, uh, all three of these are excellent space. You can go ahead and see that there. So, uh, you know, if you need a place for pots and pans, that's probably where I would put them there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bathroom real quick. Uh, this is the door. You can see kind of have a magazine rack here on the outside, mirror here as well, and then uh, handles here kind of to get in. Um, let's go ahead and I'll open this up and then I will show you how it works. So as we take a look at the bathroom of the 210, uh, you can see right here I am on the toilet. Beneath me is a shower pan. It does have a drain over here, uh, but I wanted to sit down just to kind of give you a relative idea of the space. Now, uh, these doors actually sit out. Uh, they kind of have a little uh, curvature to them. If you take a look, you can see right up here, the shower curtain kind of follows. That's kind of the same angle the doors will sit on. So that way you do have some additional leg room. It's not like you're cramped in here in a tiny corner. You'll also see that right there is your toilet paper holder. So that is uh, fairly easy to get to. The, underneath the sink here, you have some additional storage. So that's pretty neat. The sink itself is right here. A couple extra trays here. You do have a mirror. And then your hand wand for your shower does attach right here in the back of the sink. A light up top here as well. Now, one of the cool things about the 210, uh, as it stands right now, and if I stand up and try to shower, you know, I'm six foot, it's not easy. You don't have a lot of room here. You just don't have the ceiling height. So what they have done 
if you take a look, you can you will see the shower curtain can actually come all the way out and around into the aisleway. So therefore, what you do is you bring the shower curtain out. You can go ahead and shower right here. And if you notice, there's a removable panel right out here in the main aisleway. That way you can use this, uh, essentially your main aisleway here as your shower pan. And this gives you plenty of space. That way you don't have to worry about, you know, being cramped in a small space. If again, if you're a taller person, if you're shorter, you know, if you're petite, it, you may be able to shower in here, no problem. Someone like myself would have to do it in the aisle way. Then right up top, they did go ahead and give you a fantastic fan so it quickly gets the moisture out and helps dry everything out for you. Let's go ahead and take a look at the front half of the 210. Uh, we'll start off right over here on the control panel. So everything essentially located here. One of the things you will notice is you don't have your standard generator hookup. The reason for that is this unit is actually equipped with an underhood generator. If you're not familiar with it, it's a, a proprietary technology to road track and essentially think of it as a souped up alternator. It is under the hood of the vehicle itself and when you turn the vehicle on, uh, it basically it runs and powers everything inside the coach. A couple big advantages to that. One, it's not nearly as loud. So if you are doing some stealth camping or somewhere where you can't uh, normally run a generator, you will be able to run the under hood. The other advantage is it doesn't require near the maintenance. Underhood generators were one of the, or, or I'm sorry, standard generators are one of the big uh, problems with Road Track, one of the number one warranty issues they had. But since they've gone to the underhood, uh, they have had almost no problems whatsoever. So that is definitely a big advantage. Also, with that, this unit is equipped with the Volt Start System. What that essentially does is if your battery starts to deplete too low, the volt start will automatically kick the coach on, which then activates that underhood generator, filling the batteries back up before it shuts off. Uh, the coach will actually do that up to three times before you have to manually start it. Once you start it, it will do it another three times, so on and so forth. So uh, that way, if you are boondocking, you don't have to worry about your batteries dying out, which is pretty neat. Also, speaking of batteries, you have the EcoTrek 400 system on here. Uh, those are lithium ion batteries, give you 400 amp hours there. The unit is equipped with the pure sine wave inverter. You can see that right over here too. Uh, some speakers up front, you'll see a speaker here as well as here. That's part of that surround system I mentioned when we were in the back. Your third captain's chair right here for an additional passenger, which is nice. Two seats up front, as I mentioned, they both do swivel. Uh, you can see your cup holders there in the center. Your uh, center dash has your, of course, radio and CD player there, as well as a uh, camera. And then right up top here, this is a little bit of extra storage. You will see they have covers. These are real windows, if you see those from the outside. Uh, not that they open, but obviously they let some natural light in. Uh, they do have the covers to go ahead and close those off. But all right, folks, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Road Trek 210 Popular. Uh, this one is on the Chevy chassis. If you're looking for a great Road Trek, a really nice traveler, you know, this one's uh, very nice. It has a good price point. It's wider than your standard Chevy chassis. They do a lot of fiberglass on the exterior to help widen it up a little bit longer as well. Definitely one you want to come take a look at. If you are interested and you'd like price and availability, you can either give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, or you can always take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this walkthrough, be sure to join our YouTube channel. That way you'll be one of the first to see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.